Hello everyone, Linda Israel here with another January Creative Prompt. Today is January the 26th and it's my wedding anniversary as well. If you haven't already checked out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, please do. That's where we are sharing our collaboration of Robin Fennessy of creating the journal prompts and then of course my executing them and then you can add your take of the journal props whatever you decide to write or how you decide to create the page we'd love to see that the prompt for today create an altered paperclip today use this paperclip use this to paperclip something to your journal page write about something you want to or you want to or plan to do this year so I grabbed a few elements. These are bits and pieces that are from the Radiant Red Kit. And I had print these in the hopes that I would get to use them in the journal. And today I'm going to do that. So I went ahead and took a piece of craft cardstock that I had, just a scrap, and trimmed it to be the same size as the larger tag. And I think what I want to do is take these two pieces and glue them together. But I just decided I want to add a little something else. So let me grab some scraps. I've got a little book page or a dictionary page and I thought that might add just a little bit of interest if I put that on there. Kind of like a cluster if you will. So I'm going to glue these together. So first I'm going to glue down the dictionary page and then I'll glue the smaller tag on top of the bigger tag. I like that. On this piece I'm going to use my paper clip and put that somewhat in the center like so depending on you and what you like I prefer to put the little portion inside my altered paper clip some people like to put the bigger portion so they don't have such a large clip on the other side kind of depends upon what you enjoy what you prefer I'm going to use it this way what I'm going to do is put a lot of glue right down the center of my paper clip around the outside edge of my paper clip and then all the way around the edge of the piece of paper and I'll fill in a generous amount of glue here. Then I'm going to take this piece and put these together. And what I found is if I put it face down on my work surface and then press in the back of this paper clip, that it helps adhere these two pieces together and ensure that the paper clip won't pop out. I am going to move my paper clip up just a tad so that I can have a space to put some ribbon and fibers. So I've got just a small amount sticking out the top. I've got some ribbon and fibers here, so I'm going to cut a little length of that. I'll do it twice. Why not? I've got a little scrap of a string, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half and then take this string and poke it through all these layers. And then I'm gonna poke that through the top of my paper clip. It's easier to wrangle than trying to poke all these crazy fibers through. So I'm just gonna pull that through and then open this up and pull the fiber ends through the little loop. So then I'll just pull gently, hanging on to that paper clip so I don't pull it out because it's not quite dry yet. So now my little altered paper clip has a little bit of ribbon on the top. Let me get this out of the way like that. And then here is my journal card that I want to use. And we are to write uh, what is something you plan or want to do this year. So let me write that and then I'll be right back. I use a Sharpie no bleed writing pen. I've been using this the whole series. I like this pen because it doesn't bleed through. It writes really nice, has a nice cream clean, clean, uh, crisp uh, nib to it, and it's just really easy for me to use. So today we were to create an altar paper clip, which I have done, and then write about a plan or something you want to do this year. My plan is to spend more time with my friends and family. We only have a limited number of days in our lives, and I plan to make the most of each day. And I hope that you are as well, because you never know when someone is no longer going to be with us. So spend some time with them as much as possible. Make those memories for both of you. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this prompt today. 
thank you so much for watching if you haven't already given this video a thumbs up share it with your friends so others can discover the things that I share and if you have any comments or questions go down below and leave those and then finally if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel again I go live on Mondays at 3 45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12 30 p.m. Central Standard Time thank you so much for watching have a fabulous day everybody bye